Kirsty, welcome to Burnley. Uh, how happy are you to be here? I'm really excited. I think the girls have been really welcoming and um, I can't wait to sort of give my experience and knowledge of the game to hopefully help Burnley women uh, get to the place where they belong, yeah. And uh, when did you first hear that Burnley were interested in bringing you in <laughs> and how long did it take you to make that decision? Um, I was actually on holiday in Mallorca and Lola contacted me. We had a Zoom call and speaking to her, um, it, it's the first point of contact at the club. So for me, she's she's a very positive person and what she wants to achieve. and. Um, like air believing in me just sort of made my mind up anyways and then I also seen how well Burnley women done last season in the Cups League um, one point off the playoff promotion and things like that so um, yeah I, I, it's a place I really wanted to come to and I know it's an environment that I can thrive in. And for Burnley women fans that perhaps don't know that much about you can you tell us a bit about your career and your uh, background so far? Yeah absolutely so um, I started playing football at seven. Um, I played for a lot of Sunday league teams, um, a boys team, up until about 12, where I went to Everton Academy. And for me, that, that's the place that will always be home because it's the place that kick-started my career. Um, I was there for 10 years. Um, in that time, we'd got or gained promotion from um, the sum Spring Series um, Championship. So we won that league um, and then from there, um, I'd had held the number one for quite some time and then it just got to a point really where I kind of needed to like flee the nest and sort of just gather some new experiences in football in my career. So um, I joined Leicester where I worked under a brilliant manager and again, I, I feel I can be myself and thrive in an environment where a manager believes in me. Um, and from there, we gained promotion at Leicester from the Championship. Not only um, did I win the Golden Glove at that club, but I also gained my first Scotland um, national call-up from there. So, again, another reason in being at Burnley is I know that the manager believes in me and um, it's really nice to, f to feel wanted, but also that's an environment you can thrive in. And you mentioned that you won trophies with both Everton and Leicester. Do you think that's important? experience-wise coming into Burnley, a side that are looking to make the jump to the next level and win trophies? Yeah, definitely. I'm hoping that I can bring my knowledge of what it takes to gain promotion, but also um, help the girls who are maybe new to this environment also and helping them feel settled in as, as well as I'm a new player, but I'm a lot older than a few of them. So it's nice to be able to share that experience as a new player, but also to just share with the team what it takes to actually get promoted and what you need is a, a tight-knit team who will all work for each other and um, on and off the pitch, what, whatever they might, that may be. And also the time that you get to share together, just just value it and make it worthwhile. And then when it comes to a match day, you, it's all there, yeah. Then we've mentioned experience. We do have an experienced keeper here already in Lauren. Yeah. But would you like to bring some experience to Lucy, perhaps a, a younger keeper? Yeah, absolutely. I think past clubs have always worked with um, a younger goalkeeper and I absolutely love sharing my experiences with them and watching them grow through the course of the season. So I'm really hoping that both myself and Lauren together can get the best out of Lucy. I think we've got a great goalkeeping union with different age gaps between us. I think we can all learn different things off each other, whether that's actually football based or a mentality based type of thing. Um, but like Lauren's been captain of the club for so many years. I think she, she's got leadership qualities and that's something that I, I'd love to gain. And also with Lucy, she's got younger qualities coming through that all it needs is a little bit to get out of her. So I think combined, we, we can be a, a great goalkeeping union, yeah. And you left Leicester after a, a couple of years at the end yeah. of the season. Was that a tough decision to leave and come here, especially after the success that you'd had with them? Yeah, absolutely. I think whenever you leave a team, you're always going to miss w what you had there and what you built there. Um, goalkeeper union, w whatever that may be. I think I'll miss eight minute drive because now it takes an hour and a bit to get here. But um, for me, it's it, they're a team that I know will go on and do many successful things um, but 
for now ultimately it's about focusing on myself, the team that I'm now here with, so yeah. And you've also, as you've mentioned, had experience internationally. Is, this, is that something you're sort of looking to build on here, potentially getting into the Scotland squad whilst being at Burnley? Yeah, definitely. I think international um, team environments are always looking for players who are uh, playing consistently. Now I'm hoping that um, a good few runs and a good few performances can sort of put me into a spotlight um, from from a national point of view. They can see sort of what I'm about. Um, and I think they've seen that in the past and it was a, a case of like nationality getting changed over, things like that. So um, I can be hopeful, of course. And But to be honest, this, like my main focus is on the team I'm at and um, more than happy to to look into international things. But right now it's about getting as far as I can in the league with Burnley, but also cup runs. And it's an exciting time for you to join Burnley Women with the extra investment coming in from the chairman, Alan Pearce, mm -hmm. JJ and his wife, Keelia Watt, who's a former US international, yeah. also being involved with the club. Was that a factor in your decision to maybe make the move here? Yeah, definitely. I think that when you look at investment in, in the women's game, it's not. It, it's also about our the men's team supporting us, which they are, which is great. And I think one thing that I speak highly of is the shared media pages and things like that. So the training ground, the facilities, I think I even got to do some sessions with the under 19s goalkeepers and things like that. So it shows it's one club. And for me, it's really important to sort of be involved with everyone at the club, not just the women's side of things. So yeah, that, that's a great thing. And we'll move on to the upcoming season that starts on Sunday with Liverpool feds yeah. away. How ready are you to sort of take part in that game? I'm really excited. Not only um, is it Liverpool feds, but that's the team that I used to play for at youth level and um, before I joined the academy. Now, I know a lot of players there, but I know that once I get onto the pitch, I'll, I'll be focused and uh, just ready to go. It's been a great pre-season for us as a, as a club and um, yeah, I really can't wait to get going and hopefully get the three points and off, off at the top, well, see where we get in the table, but um, hopefully off good, to a good start. And what's your message to the fans ahead of that game and ahead of the season? I think when it comes to fans, they're really important just because they are like that 13th, well, 12th man for us. And then obviously they're the ones that sort of like can help you grind out a result if it's getting tough. Um, and I think in this in this league now, it's getting much bigger. So I'm hoping to see a good turnout um, throughout the season when we play our home games, away games, and all the support is needed and is, will be greatly appreciated. Thank you for sitting down with us, Kirsty, and best of luck for this season with the Burnley women. Thank you very much.